Hi, welcome back to AQA Certificate for the Mathematics GCSE. Today we're on chapter 7.5. We're doing cosine rules. And again, this is a great A star video. So let's start. So, a uh, cosine rule is basically a sine rule's friend or cousin or whatever. It is a really good way of finding opposite sides of a particular uh, triangle if you only have one angle and you have two sides or uh, it's a good way to find angles um, <coughs> if there aren't any angle at all and that is um, a good way of finding those informations and it helps you to find every single thing about a uh, triangle um, by using only three different information. It can be either two sides, uh, an angle, <coughs> two angles, a side, or <coughs> um, three sides. But it can never be three angles as a normal GCSE level um, we have talked about um, that congruent triangle rules and you can never identify a triangle with three a's because that is a rule for similar triangle as long as it's scaled up uh, with a correct scale then you can never figure out how big that triangle is with only three angles and therefore here comes the cosine rule so you probably noticed that my title last section is So, Pythagoras was wrong after all. Well, let's see if he is wrong at all. Cosine rule is given by the equation c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cos c or uh, if you want to, a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a or even b squared equals a squared plus c squared minus 2ac cos b. That is basically everything that is still right, but it's just... Let's say they are the same thing after all, because you can just change the labeling system and get... just need to use one equation really. So, this is... A classical triangle uh, that is right angled because we know that these are three different sides that represents a Pythagorean triangle which makes this angle 90, uh, 90 degree but in case we don't know what theta is because well we are not dumb but we don't know about Pythagoras we want to prove him wrong so, let's see. Since we have this, we can try to set the angle as C because we have that angle. This last bit must be about an angle. The rest are all about sides. So the first bit of C squared is the opposite side, C, which is 13 squared. Then A squared plus B squared is basically, well, either... 5 square plus 12 square or 12 square plus 5 square. It doesn't matter because it's addition. We can say they're the same again. Then we minus 2ab uh, which is 2 times 5 times 12 which is 120 uh, cosine c. And so c is theta we've set so we can construct set equation into this. Well, that looked a bit complicated, doesn't it? So, work your magic of calculator, maybe. And you can get this simplified version. It's a bit more friendly, but still, you can simplify these two constant numbers to get that. This is true, but now you're talking about a bit of a... Uh, problem because we know that 169 is equal to 169 what about 120 cos theta 
Well, if it is like that, if you do rearrange it, you'll eventually get 0 equals 120 cos theta. And if you have uh, ever met something that equals 0 with a uh, whole number multiplication, you can probably cross that out because that's useless information. Anything times 0 is 0. And anything divide, uh, no, 0 divided by anything is 0, really. So cosine theta must be 0. And if you have um, tried to use your calculator to press that arc cosine is equal to 0, then you can get that theta is equal to 90 degree. And so, that is how you solve that uh, theta is 90, which is a right angle. So, well, Pythagoras was right, after all. So, that uh, Pythagoras thing is just a joke. Um, I really don't recommend you to <coughs> mess about with that, because really, you don't want to try to just prove a theorem wrong because it's a theorem it's right and yeah just use it and if you do have a right angle triangle use pythagoras theorem don't even care or think about anything else uh if you want to find the other two angles then you m well you can use sine rule or cosine rule Cosine rule are generally more accurate as the chance that you get two answers that are, well, uh, close to each other is quite tiny. And the fact that you can only get one angle that is smaller than 90 degree shows that if it is in the triangle, that is the, uh, well, smaller than 180 rather, uh, then that is one of the most uh, sure way to find out a particular angle. So, uh, not like when I did my sine rule video at the last part, I figured that um, yeah, there are two answers to that. So yeah, I think cosine rule is a bit more reliable, but a bit more complicated. So yeah. Um, just remember to use the opposite angle again, that is um, always a given. Um, then you can try to label angles and sides, but remember to rub them off because you'll mess yourself up if you leave it there. And just people like to con get confused about which angle is which side and you know, it's just really messy. So finally, I have a diagram that I have elegantly constructed. Nope. Um, never mind. It's just a random picture that I've made and I want you to find x. So yeah, again, similar kind of deal. Uh, you have five seconds to pause the video for your own working time. And I'll see you in five seconds. So, past five seconds, you have uh, x as a value. And if you are correct, you can get that x is equal to uh, 3.23. What? How do you get this? Is basically you apply the cosine rule once right here with the uh, two sides clipping the angle in between to find the opposite side, which created another um, V shape and angle kind of shape uh, situation. And you can apply cosine rule again onto that. So that is how you find X and I hope you uh, understand this, and if you did, uh, leave me a like, uh, comments below, and if you have any question,
please do ask me and yeah that's it for this video i hope you enjoy it and i will see you next time